Hello everyone and welcome back to Elm Creek and another Grey Man Explains video. Now I've been asked by a couple of friends of mine who are playing FS22 and also a comment in one of my previous videos around the crop rotation mod. Now I mentioned it in my first ever video for Shire Farm but I didn't go in a massive deep dive depth of it so I wanted to use this video to actually just spend a couple of minutes just to uh, explain it a little bit more to people and one of the reasons, some of the reasons why I like to run it on my games. Now Personally, I like to run it on my games because I think it gives a little bit more realism to Farming Simulator 22. Now, I do know a little bit about agriculture, and uh, one of my uh, good friends and one of the gamers I actually play um, a time-lapse series on, Pugsley03, who runs his own agricultural manufacturing company, knows quite a lot about this, actually. Um, and the mod, this mod allows us to... Um, explain that certain crops in the real world agriculture actually use more than just uh, lime and nitrogen and they take more uh, nutrients out of the soil so real farmers in agriculture actually do crop rotation and different types of crops but different take away different nutrients and uh, different things from the soil and they can put other nutrients and factors back in now this uh, mod kind of helps your game do that so first things first um, what you can see is when you walk up to a field when you've got this mod enabled is you've got a new section called uh, previous harvest in the field info now the mod remembers the last three so it works on what you've got in the field at the moment so the crop type then it works on the two previous previous harvests. Now, to work out what you're actually going to get in yield bonus, or maybe even a decreased yield bonus, you can actually use the a section in the um, mod, which is in the main menu. So if you go to your main menu, as you can see, you get what's called the crop rotation planner. Now, on the default game, with just this mod enabled, it's about the third option down. So what you can do is you can look at your field, you can go right previous harvest first harvest out of the three was poplar then cotton now it's wheat so if you go into the crop rotation planner you put in poplar you put in cotton then you put in wheat now you can see that all those get 100 percent yield bonus so if you then swap back to the field you can go a bit further into the field and you can see there you go another new section where it says yield bonus plus 38 actually because of the crop rotation mod you'll get a 100 percent of your yield because you've done good, good crop rotation but that's not the highest you can get with this mod you can actually get 115 percent now to find out how to do that if you click here and you go to uh, set poplar cotton wheat and then you can actually s scroll through the different um, crops that you might want to put in next time so as you can see if we put in oat next time we'll actually get 110 percent bonus if we put corn in, we still get 100. Put sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet, we get 110, etc. But if we put cotton again in, you'd only get 90% bonus. If we put in um, wheat again, you'd only get 75% bonus. So it's stopping you from constantly putting the same crop in every single time. Now, as long as you've got your um, yield bonus up to 100%, so by um, putting in lime, by doing your um, rolling after you put your seed in and obviously doing both applications of fertilizer you will get the plus bonus so at the moment we won't get anything higher than 100 percent because our rotation is only good it's not perfect now it does just mean that you can get a little bit extra yield bonus and it just adds that little bit of extra um, realism to the game so the other thing that you can do actually is if you leave a field as fallow then it resets the rotation and it allows you then to just go back to a standard 100% and you can just then say all right put wheat in I'll then change that next year and I'll put in barley which will then paint me to 105 the next time and then if you change that again and put in something like canola that's 110 etc so you've got to kind of like plan it out and build how it's going to work on your fields that's that a little bit more um you're going, to, you're going to fiddle a bit more with how you want to plan your fields but then that can work quite well with things like the work plan mod that i run as well and these two kind of work really well with each other so hopefully this makes a little bit more sense to everyone and um, hopefully explains the mod a little bit more but uh, if you enjoyed the content then please like it and while you're down there subscribe to my channel because there's going to be some additional videos and more things about grain man explains coming in the next couple of weeks many thanks for joining me